Hey, we're here. The old 900 prayer request time. Take a look. Stay here. This is the old 900 prayer request time. You're listening to my man here. This is to get it going here this morning. This is the 0900 prayer request time. Right here, folks. My name is Missionary Norman Edgar. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary. Today, or as of yesterday, here's where we're at. 11,000 views, 167,000 hearts. If you want to hear the truth, you're going to hear it here. If you want to hear somebody that wants to give you a milk toast sermon or something, well, you come to the wrong place. There's a powerful God out there that will answer prayers. Amen? That's what the whole Protestant Christian Bible New Testament truths of Jesus, the apostles, are all about. It's a real book. It's not some counterfeit organized religion that we have today. Again, here's our Periscope map. These are people that have contacted us all over the world. (coughs) Asking for prayer, wanting to know what's going on. Amen. The song you're hearing, Don't Let the Devil Drive Your Life. All right, we're going to flip around here, so hang on. I'm using my Epson projector, right? So here we go. We're going to go on our introductory page. For all you English speakers, you can see that I see I got a couple of people. Hey there, how you doing, my friend? Welcome to the 0900 prayer request. This is in English, as you can see, but I can translate this into 60 or so different languages. So when I get people from different parts of the world that come on, Russia, Chinese, Japanese, they can read what we are about. This is a short little bio, double spaced. This basically tells who I am and what we are about. And uh, as you read along here, you can see. (coughs) This is the 0900 prayer request time. And I'm broadcasting from Missouri, right in the center of the U.S., about, all right? There's a real difference in today in what we call spiritually born again and Protestant religionists. The religionists are just that. They're just religious people. They don't believe in the divine inspiration of the Protestant Christian Bible. They have settled for their own ideas how they would like their God to be like. And so they make up their own rules, everything. And that's what you call Protestant denominations. If you don't like what they're saying, go on to the next. And probably you'll find somebody that will appease what you're looking for. But if you want to get get onto the straight and narrow road of eternal salvation, then that's the road is only found in the Protestant Christian Bible. This is our website. Amen. And again, this is our Periscope. This is our, our, let me get here. This is our Periscope map. This shows the people from around the world that have come by, dropped by, and asked about the 0900 prayer request time. You see all these little hearts and got little silver stars on them. You see people from around the world, and there's so many more within the United States that I just decide not to put all the hearts all over because people from all over the United States and Canada and Mexico, uh, we got over close to 90 to 100 and just decided that we just well put them all over the map because Periscope is getting all over everywhere. Again, this is my introduction. This is in English and I can translate this to any language that I want to. All right, so if I got people from Japan, Chinese, all I do is just click right here. I'll show you. All right, just click this and select the language. It's set for Spanish right there, but any language you want to do. This is in Spanish, okay? If I want to change that language, this is again our introduction. I can change this to Arabic, 
what you're doing is awesome. Hey, thank you, uh, Lolly 100. All right, where are you at, Lolly 100? You here in the States? Uh, Nepal? Is that Nepal? NP. Hey, how you doing? You can see this is in, this is our intro, North Carolina. <laughs> well, that's a long, yeah, I was there in North Carolina. Uh, Marion, North Carolina. Worked with the Mong Hill Tribe people that lived in Marion. You might have known where that's at, up by Morganton. NP, NP means no problem. Oh, okay, thank you. You know I'm 70, so you got to guys got to clue me in, right? You millennials know what's going on, Generation X. I'm a baby boomer rocking for Jesus. I'm caught in the time warp for Jesus, all right? And uh, these organized religions and things you see today, just not real. The real McCoy, all right? It's like somebody trying to give you a Coca-Cola and tell you it's a Pepsi. You know the difference. You know the real thing when you got it. Hey, man, this is our... This again, this is our brief intro, and this is in English, all right? <coughs> My wife broadcast on Tuesday, Wednesday, and uh, Sunday at 11 o'clock in the morning on Periscope. So this tells people who we are when they contact us, and I can tell you people from around the world on Periscope are contacting us. And uh, the more that we put out, we're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Oh, man, I, there's so many, it's hard to even say them all. But anyway, we're out there, all right? And it's all about Jesus, asking Him as your Lord and Savior, all right? This is what it's about, nothing else, no, it's all about that. We're not selling books, not wanting you to join a church. If anything, you join a church, you probably lose your salvation, so stay away from that. Let me flip you around here so you can see my face, all right? It'd be nice one day when we're able to see everything the other way around. I'd be glad when they come up with the uh, with the translator that I can, you can read in my language what I'm saying, I can read in your language instantly, voice recognition system. I, I contacted Tandy Corporation about a zillion years ago working with the Mong Hill Tribe people, you know. So, and it's all, everything's possible. Now I translate a lot in using the different formats that I have. It's just the basic sentence structure you got to get right. But here we are. This is what it's about. It's about prayer. It's about talking to God. You talk to me, you talk to, you talk to Mr. Google all the time. Well, when we're... When we're praying, the same things happen. We can pray, and praying isn't some pious thing you got worked up into a trance or crawl on your hands and knees or say the rosary or fast and, and beat yourself or something. It's not that at all. Praying is simply talking. But how many people really talk to God? I know I didn't talk to God till I was 28 years old. All right, and that's the truth. I didn't know if I believed in God the devil. I never read the Bible, so I wasn't, I wasn't worried about it. I never thought about it, didn't care about it, okay? <clears throat> but one day, 28 years old, I talked to God, all right? Situation and circumstances got me to the place where <laughs> I talked to God, Amen. It wasn't a nice conversation to begin with, but in the end, it turned out really well for me. I got saved, gave my heart to Christ, all right? So it was a good conversation, but it didn't start out that way. You know, a lot of times, isn't that the truth when you <laughs> when you communicate with somebody? You know, you want to, you know, you end up being honest. And when you're honest, man, it'll pour forth out of you what you really think about something or somebody. And you know something? That's what God wants. He wants you to pour out your heart to Him. And then, when you get done with all your jive, you, let me tell you something. The Lord will be standing right there. And after you finish, if you're upset with the Lord about something, where your life's going, or what's happening, or whatever, whatever, when you get done with your rant, He'll be right there, standing right there. And you know what He's going to say to you? I love you. <laughs> And then something you want, you know, he'd like you sometimes thinking, well, why don't you just give me a little slap or something, you know? And, oh, no, I love you. 
<laughs> I forgive you if you're asking for forgiveness, that is. <laughs> That's God. He's unusual, isn't he? He's a loving, kind, sweet God. Don't forget. He's not out to condemn you, sent Jesus to save you. So why would he condemn you? You know who the worst person in the world is? Is you right there. <laughs> okay, You condemn yourself more than anybody else. You don't need some preacher man to tell you you're going to hell. You know you're not right with the Lord. All right? I've been in 40 years of doing this work, five missionary tours in the Southeast Asia, seven years in New Mexico, 40 years, I've yet to meet anyone that says, Oh, man. The honest people will tell you they're just sinners separated from God, and they know it, too. But you get these pious religious hypocrites known as Christians, and they'll swear up and down they're saved. They accepted Jesus, water baptized, and uh, did all the right things, said that sinner's prayer. And no more living for God than a man in the moon. And that's why we have the religious hypocrisy that we have today. There's no truth. Used to be back in the 60s, there was a great movement called the Jesus Movement. Now, I'm not talking about the oneness Pentecostal people. I'm talking about the sweet love of Jesus pouring out all over the world, not just the United States. The late 50s, 60s, and early 70s. It was a move of God. It wasn't any man, it wasn't any church group, anything like that. It was just the Holy Spirit of God moving the sweet love of Jesus. And where'd all those people go? All the thousands of people that were involved with all that stuff, the, all the CBN, TBN, all the uh, Oral Robert, all the PTL, all the swagger, where'd all them people go? You understand? That sweet love of Jesus, you know what was done with it? It was just stuffed down somewhere, and people went right back to the same old rotten mess they were in before. And now... 20, 30 years after the fact, what do we got today? Take a look at the news we got today. And that's that's the result. This is the 0900 prayer request time. It's about you guys, you millennials out there. You're a whole lot sharper than me, all right? It's about you talking and praying. You got a situation in your life, you need a divine help. I mean divine, not just a little bit. You got that thing in your life? Hey, hi there. That, oh, you're back again. Welcome back, my friend. My name's Missionary Norman Edgar. I've been a Protestant Christian missionary too long. <laughs> 40 years. I can't, can't go anywhere. Can't go to the left. Can't go to the right. Today, let me, uh, well, here, I can show you from here. Here's our heart count. View count, let me show you. Here we are today. Or as of yesterday, 167,000 hearts, 11,000 views. We started, or at least I did, in January, broadcasting last week in January on Periscope. I've been on every day, in the morning, 9 o'clock, Central Standard Time. And it's all, it's all about this right here. It's about you praying, talking to God. But if you're going to try to do a hoodoo prayer, you don't mean it, you're just blowing smoke, your life's not right, you know it's not right, well, don't expect that prayer to go too high, all right? Hey, hi there, uh, is that my lady? Yes, that's, that's Karen. Hey, hi Karen, how are you today? How's the weather over there on the other side of the world? My name's Missionary Norman Edgar. Here I am, right here, I'm in Missouri. Today is Friday, the 27th of May. As you can see out my window here, this is our little home office. That's our gazebo you see there. I put that up, Selma and I put that up, uh, what, 214, I guess. Yeah, we assembled that together, man. See that? We're good. <laughs> got that on sale, and we made installments, and we got that little booger, all right? It was... Ah, someone said it was three years ago that we got that. Amen. And we we did a lot of work to get that looking like it is now. We go out there a lot to eat. All right. Hello again, Norman. I'm good. Thank you. How are you, Karen? Well, I'm good, Karen. Or I'm good, but life is so difficult. No, just kidding. Everything's good. Yesterday, I got a word from the Lord. Okay, 
That small, still voice of the Lord spoke to my heart. Karen, would you like to know what the small, still voice of the Lord said to my heart yesterday, Karen? That's Karen out there in Israel, all right? Would you like to know, Karen, what the Lord spoke to my heart yesterday? That would be uh, Thursday, yeah. This is the 0900 prayer request time. It's about you guys praying and believing God, all right? Yesterday, I noticed that the people that came by, there was only 40 people. And you know something? The other day, there was only three people that I saw, viewers. And I was only on for a short time, though. And then some days, it's 100 people. Yes, please, okay. Well... <clears throat> Uh, you know, Selma and I, we're, we try to be pretty faithful with what the Lord puts before us to do. And, uh, so, uh, I've been involved in missionary work for a long time. As you know, you've heard me say it over and over. And there's so much that I think I, there's so much more I think I can do. All right. And uh, I want to do a whole lot more than what I'm doing, all right? This is okay, what I'm doing, but I really, I'm a hands-on kind of guy, all right? And I like to be in the place, all right? So it's kind of difficult to sit still, all right? And I'll just be honest with you about that part. And we want to travel, we want to do a lot of things, but we want to do what God wants us to do. So we're sitting tight, waiting for God, however God, and if God decides we stay right here, then we'll stay right here. All right, that's just that simple. But anyway, yesterday I was out, let me see if you can see it here. Well, here I'm going to let you see, Karen, where I was actually at. Hold on, I'm going to have to get this thing loose here, and I'll let you see. All right. Now uh, hold on. I'm I'm gonna flip this screen around. All right, so that you can you're gonna be looking out the window here, but I'm gonna see what you're gonna see too. All right. All right. All right. Oh, did we lose you? Ah. Oh. 